frontline public safety personnel around the nation are the first line of defense against both homegrown and international terrorist attacks. The types of planning activities and pre-operational surveillance required to support violent activity continues to take place today and is the most likely point where a terrorist plot can be uncovered, intercepted, and thwarted. Suspicious behavior or activity may not on its face be criminal, but if it has a nexus to terrorist activity, the consequences of overlooking it or missing its significance could be catastrophic. Public safety participation in the disruption of terrorist plots before they reach the operational phase has become essential as the intensity and frequency of attempted attacks continues to escalate. The following scenarios are based on actual events that occurred during the normal investigation of criminal activity. Alert and trained officers' discovery of potential terrorist activity and their immediate follow-through with suspicious activity reports make possible the arrest of individuals with dangerous motives. It all began with a traffic stop of a man breaking the law by talking on a cell phone while driving. What happens next shows the importance of recognizing suspicious activities or behaviors that could stop a terrorist threat. He rummaged through the papers in his briefcase and he stated that he didn't have a driver's license or any other form of identification. I could see that the guy was nervous and his hands were shaking. My partner noticed it too. That was enough for us to ask him to get out of the car. The officers searched for information on the man by entering his name and license plate into a database, but nothing is found. Then, when talking to him, the man volunteers some personal information and the officers grow suspicious. He told me he was on probation and had been involved in the largest ecstasy bust in the nation. He then gave us permission to search his car for proof of identification. A search of the man's car turns up a briefcase with credit card statements belonging to several different people, along with a number of other financial documents. I went back to talk to him about what I found and I noticed that behind him on the ground were some credit cards. I asked him about them and he said, No, those are mine. I looked at them and they had different names on them. But there was a department store credit card with his name on it. So obviously things weren't right. So at this point, I'm assuming that we have this guy on stolen property. So we detained him. The officers take the suspect to the police station. While he's being booked, they go through his briefcase more thoroughly and find a very unusual document. It's an official State Department document that lists companies that are illegal for U.S. citizens to do business with because they may be attempting to acquire materials for weapons of mass destruction or missile parts. So now I'm wondering if this man is somehow linked to any terrorist activities. So I called our major crimes unit. It turns out the suspect is involved in purchasing missile parts and sending them to the Middle East. Activity linked to possible acts of terror is stopped because two observant police officers recognize suspicious behavior. In the course of your work or an investigation, if you witness suspicious behavior or activity, report it. By following your suspicious activity reporting procedures, you could be disrupting the planning or pre-operational phase of a terrorist plot. Three undercover cops are on a routine tobacco investigation. We're looking for places that buy and sell and tax cigarettes. It's a crime that we are seeing more and more often. At a neighborhood store, the officers identify themselves and the reason for their visit. How you doing today? Officer, I put it with the LAPD. When we identified ourselves to the owner, he was friendlier than usual. I, I love the police. Come on in. So a red flag went up right away. Within minutes, the officers spot evidence of several illegal activities. I saw some counterfeit merchandise. Designer watches being sold for $70 name brand purses for $40. I saw boxes and boxes of cigarettes that did not have a tax stamp on them. The owner was reselling the cigarettes and that's illegal. As the officers continue to investigate, the shop owner is growing right now, increasingly the nervous. The guy was pacing back and forth, back and forth. I need you to have a seat. I don't want to have to put handcuffs on. The officers have enough evidence to charge the shop owner with several felony counts. But then Officer Gomez makes a startling discovery that changes everything. I was looking around and I noticed some papers. I took a closer look and then I read it. Get this material from a hardware store. Get these chemicals from a pool shop. I realized that this might be more than a routine tobacco investigation. Gomez quietly confiscates the document and shows it to his fellow officers. It's clearly instructions for constructing a homemade bomb. At the end of the instructions it says, run, you have three minutes till it blows. I read that and it sent chills to my body. The officers realize they may be dealing with a terrorist, but they need to make sure he doesn't suspect the police are onto him. We decided to downplay the whole thing. We told him we were just gonna give him a citation. 
We didn't want to tip him off in case the department wanted to put him under surveillance. The next day, a warrant is served and an arrest is made. It turns out the FBI had the store owner on a watch list and had lost contact with him for several years. One officer's perceptive observation may well have saved innocent lives. Recent events remind us that government, public, private, and military venues are susceptible to attack. Ever escalating threat activity makes it clear an attack on the U.S. is an increasing and persistent terrorist objective. We all need to remember how important it is to do whatever we can to more thoroughly gather, analyze, and disseminate information and observations of either a criminal or suspicious nature, which may prove critical to the disruption of a terrorist attack. It is crucial that you embrace your agency's education, training, and reporting procedures related to suspicious activities that may have a link to terrorism. In the course of your work or investigation, you may witness suspicious behavior or activity that may or may not be related to a reportable crime. Following your SAR training and your instincts can be the difference between life and death for you and the communities you serve. These public safety personnel made a difference. Will you?